Early Austrian Economics is a foundational book in the field of economics, showcasing the early works of prominent thinkers who laid the groundwork for the Austrian school. In this video, we will explore seven valuable lessons from this influential book. 1. The Origins of the Austrian School The origins of the Austrian school can be traced back to the late 19th century in Vienna, Austria. Some of the key figures associated with the school include Karl Menger, Eugen von Bombarg, and Friedrich von Wieser. These economists were instrumental in developing the ideas that would come to define Austrian economics. One of the central tenets of the Austrian school is the emphasis on individual choice and subjective value. They believe that economic phenomena are best understood through the actions of individuals. The Austrian school also places a strong emphasis on the role of entrepreneurship and market competition. These ideas stood in contrast to the dominant economic theories of the time, such as the classical and neoclassical schools. Over time, the Austrian school has gained recognition for its unique insights into economic theory and policy. The school has also had a profound influence on other branches of economics, such as the Chicago School and the Public Choice School. Overall, the origins of the Austrian school lay the foundation for a rich tradition of economic thought that continues to be relevant today. 2. The Importance of Subjectivism in Economic Theory Subjectivism in economic theory is a key concept in early Austrian economics. It emphasizes the importance of individual preferences and perceptions in economic decision-making. Subjectivism suggests that value is subjective and determined by the individual's unique preferences. This contrasts with the classical economic theory which focuses on objective measures of value. Subjectivism recognizes that individuals have different tastes and preferences, leading to diverse economic decisions. It also highlights the role of uncertainty and imperfect knowledge in economic behavior. Subjectivism allows for a more flexible and dynamic view of the economy as preferences and circumstances can change over time. It helps explain market phenomena such as price fluctuations and changes in consumer demand. Overall, subjectivism plays a crucial role in shaping economic theory and understanding human behavior in the market. 3. The Role of Entrepreneurship in Economic Dynamics Entrepreneurship plays a crucial role in driving economic dynamics by identifying opportunities, mobilizing resources, and creating value. The early Austrian economists emphasized the importance of entrepreneurs in shaping the market through their alertness to new opportunities and willingness to take risks. They believe that entrepreneurship is the driving force behind economic growth and development. Entrepreneurs are seen as the agents of change who disrupt the status quo and introduce innovation into the market. Their actions not only benefit themselves but also contribute to the overall prosperity of society. By taking on the uncertainty and bearing the risks of business ventures, entrepreneurs play a vital role in allocating resources efficiently. The dynamic and competitive nature of markets is largely driven by the entrepreneurial activities that constantly introduce new products, services, and ways of doing business. The entrepreneurial spirit fosters creativity, innovation, and adaptability which are essential for a thriving economy. The early Austrian economists highlighted how entrepreneurship guides the market process and leads to the discovery of new opportunities for mutual gains. Overall, the role of entrepreneurship in economic dynamics is instrumental in driving progress, prosperity, and sustainable growth. 4. The Critique of Mathematical Modeling in Economics The critique of mathematical modeling in economics within early Austrian economics highlights the limitations of using complex mathematical models to understand economic phenomena. Mathematical modeling can oversimplify the complexities of human behavior and the market process, leading to inaccurate predictions. 
Austrian economists argue that human action is inherently subjective and creative, making it difficult to accurately model using mathematical equations. Furthermore, mathematical models often rely on unrealistic assumptions that do not hold true in the real world. Austrian economists emphasize the importance of understanding the unique preferences and beliefs of individuals, which cannot be accurately captured in a mathematical model. By focusing on individual decision-making processes, Austrian economics offers a more nuanced and realistic approach to studying economic behavior. The critique of mathematical modeling serves as a reminder to economists to consider the limitations of using quantitative methods in analyzing economic issues. Instead of relying solely on mathematical models, Austrian economics encourages economists to take a more qualitative and interdisciplinary approach to studying the economy. This emphasis on human action and subjectivity sets Austrian economics apart from other schools of economic thought providing a more comprehensive understanding of economic phenomena. Ultimately, the critique of mathematical modeling and economics within early Austrian economics challenges economists to reevaluate their methods and consider the limitations of using mathematical models to study human behavior. 5. The Emphasis on Methodological Individualism the emphasis on methodological individualism in early Austrian economics underscores the importance of analyzing economic phenomena at the level of the individual. This approach focuses on the actions and choices of individuals as the driving force behind economic outcomes. By studying individual behavior, early Austrian economists sought to understand how market processes are shaped by the decisions of individuals. Methodological individualism is rooted in the belief that aggregating individual actions can lead to a better understanding of complex economic systems. This perspective challenges traditional macroeconomic analysis that focuses on aggregates such as GDP and unemployment rates. Early Austrian economists argued that by examining the actions of individuals, one can gain insights into the workings of the market and the allocation of resources. Methodological individualism also highlights the role of subjective preferences and knowledge in economic decision-making. This emphasis on individual agency and choice is a key tenet of Austrian economics and continues to influence economic thinking today. Through a focus on methodological individualism, early Austrian economists sought to provide a more realistic and nuanced understanding of economic phenomena. 6. The Significance of Time Preference in Economic Decision-Making The significance of time preference in economic decision-making is a key concept in Austrian economics. It refers to the idea that individuals place different values on present consumption versus future consumption. Time preference influences how individuals make choices about saving, investing, and spending. Individuals with a high time preference value immediate consumption more than future consumption. This can lead to behaviors like overspending, lack of savings, and poor investment decisions. On the other hand, individuals with a low time preference are more willing to delay gratification in order to save and invest for the future. Understanding time preference is essential for economists and policymakers to analyze and predict economic behavior. In Austrian economics, time preference is integrated into the broader theory of subjective value and marginal analysis. Ultimately, recognizing the role of time preference can help individuals make more informed and rational economic decisions. 7. The Application of Austrian Economics to Contemporary Issues the application of Austrian economics to contemporary issues involves analyzing current events or policy debates through the lens of Austrian economic theory. This approach emphasizes the importance of individual decision-making, spontaneous order, and the limitations of central planning. By applying Austrian economics to issues such as inflation, unemployment, or government intervention, one can gain insights into the unintended consequences of policies and the benefits of free markets. 
Austrian economists argue that government interventions often lead to distortions in the economy and hinder the natural process of price discovery. This perspective can be particularly useful in understanding issues related to economic crises, regulation, or entrepreneurship. By studying how Austrian economics can be applied to contemporary problems, individuals can develop a deeper appreciation for the importance of individual liberty, property rights, and the role of markets in promoting prosperity. Austrian economics provides a unique and valuable framework for analyzing complex economic and social issues in today's world. Its emphasis on methodological individualism and subjectivism offers a powerful alternative to mainstream economic thinking. Through the application of Austrian economics, individuals can gain new perspectives on pressing issues and contribute to more informed policy debates. Thank you so much for joining me today on this journey through the pages of early Austrian economics. I hope you found the lessons and insights on the book both engaging and informative. If you enjoyed the content and found it valuable, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth book lessons and insights. Until our next literary escapade, happy reading, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and stay inspired.